everyone so you join me on a very cold January morning and uh, just uncovered the golf uh, we got a little build up of water in tiny little places but it's been under the cover all winter and it's quite it's actually very dry in here I'm not actually too sad about how the how dry it's kept in here but today we're gonna start doing some of the uh, rust so we're gonna get both the doors off out of the car and uh, we're gonna get the tailgate which is sitting up there both these doors off uh see if we can start tackling some of this rust and looking at it and uh yeah so let's get the doors off and the boot off and see what rust we've got on the door you've got these four little i can't know what the size of these tx45 four of them there and then inside you got one little castle nut there. Just got to get that off. Let me see. Now the door won't line up. Put the door back on. Under those four belts. Get that castle nut off first. And then we can take that door off. What that enables us to do is to be able to take this seal off because you can see we've got loads of rust there but I've got new side seals so we can take these seals off however they come off all of this door and see what, what actual rust we're working with. Now what I'm going to do with an angle grinder, I've got a flattened disc on there. I'm just going to go a few passes over this side seal on this rusty bit here, just to see the extent of the damage. I've hit it with a hammer, that's why I found the hole. But I'm just going to go over it with a flattened disc, see what kind of uh, salvageable material we've got here if I have to cut the whole entire thing off. Let's give it a go. <laughs> So you can see here where I've ground it back, it's nice and flat, uh, we've got quite a lot of holes, a uh, big old hole there, big little cut there, the actual inner seal is repairable, I just need to cut that bit off there and weld in a new bit, the actual seal itself is quite repairable, uh, I don't even think I'm going to be need to use the use of the old seal, depending on how much rust is there, but yeah, actually looking quite salvageable. I'm going to mark out the lines on these two rear arches. As you can see, I've done it here. It's a faint line there. Go around with the angle, um, the cut-off tool, and see what I can get out of this, um, this rear arch bit. So let's do that now. Now we've got our cutout mark for where the actual new panel needs to go on. We can cut that out with the angle grinder. So let's do that now. Slowly see new panels starting to come away. Um, the arch, nice little grind 
across there. Now with that cut out, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but this is the new panel. And then you essentially weld that straight into there. A week later and I'm finally back doing the golf. Um, obviously, last time, uh, I don't know if there's going to be two videos or one separate video, I um, cut out this section of the golf, primed it up to stop it from rusting with zinc primer, ground that bit back a bit, coat it with primer, and obviously you saw me doing this bit as well, just to stop the rust from coming back, coated it with zinc primer. Um, but now we've got the more tricky side to do, because we've got this side to cut out, all the rust down there, but you've got the fuel tank, fuel filler cap rather so we've got to be tricky about that because i don't want to obviously cut that out with the new panel when you lift it up and on goes over that so we're gonna have to cut a section out of here oh where my finger is cut a section out here just to stop us going around the fuel filler cap and then uh yeah cut this section out and uh cut that on you don't need to watch me doing this because you've seen it before and uh, yeah, it'd just be repetitive on the other side, just cut it out pretty much simple like that. So I'm going to crack on with that side, not record it because I don't need to because you've seen me cut that side out, it's just the same thing. So yeah, I'm going to cut that side out and jump back when it's all cut out. So here's where we're at with this side now. A lot more had to come off here because it was just completely rusted out. So I primed it all up, uh, ground back a little bit here because there was a load of rust there. Obviously, these are going to need redoing these all these seals. They're just falling apart, so they're all going to need to be redone. So I'm going to have to get new inner seals. But yeah, that's where we're sitting. And if we grab the new panel, and we try and hold it up the best I can with one hand. That's where we're sitting at this side. Obviously, it does wrap a lot better, but I'm holding it with one hand. I'll try and see if I can put it down and show you. If I grab the panel now. Trimming we need to do, but we'll adjust that when it comes to welding it. For now, that's where it's a little bit. Nice. Next thing to do is cut out all of these holes inside here. Keep banging around. Got a hole over there, hole over there, hole down here. Cut all those out with the angle grinder, and then, and then we're done with cutting out all the rust that I can physically see. Get under the car, see if there's any more rust. And yeah, just cut out these interior floor panels. So now you can see where we're at. Cut out this rusty bit there. Same as that panel over there. Cut out that little floor plan there. I'm going to cut out that weld that's been done over there because it's fucking horrendous. So I'm, I'm going to cut new sheet metal, bend it all to the contours of the lines and then weld it in rather than what they've done is just fucking overlap. I'm actually going to cut a panel in and weld it up. Try and beat it to the panel lines. I've cut out this one in the passenger footwell, same as that hole over there, but this side is pretty much done. I've ground all the corners and sides back just because the weld, when you come round to welding it, won't stick to that. So let's go and record doing that driver side. And then we've got two little holes back there which are well rusty, so I'm going to cut those out as well. And then we're pretty much done. There's no rust in the boot, so we're all good there. Might cut that little bit, tiny bit out there in the middle there. But yeah, let's cut out this side. And then we're pretty much done with all the cutting. What I need to do is get underneath, have a look, and then take the grinder to this engine bay, because we've got a little bit of rust underneath here. It's all surface rust, so it will just come up nicely. I don't have to cut anything. And then uh, I don't think there's any more rust on this side. No, nope, this side's fine. And then obviously we've got a little bit of bubble rust there around this boot lid. 
the actual inside of the boot lid's absolutely perfect. So let's cut what I can see and carry on. Here's where we're at. That big panel cut out and ground back. That little one on there. Got one over there I've ground out. One over there and then one right back in that boot lid where it was rusted through. That's all the rust on the interior of the floor cut out. Uh, I've also ground back this little corner here and ground back where it was rusty there. So we just need to clean up in here with the Dremel. so and then we are pretty much done for the day so i'm going to finish that prime everything and then join me back when i've primed everything that's all of the holes now cut out primed to stop them from the rust coming back whilst we're waiting for the welding to go on all this side's cut out all the boots cut out this side's cut out that's done that's done in there it's done down there We've got a few more bits to tackle there, but they should be on the new seals in there. I don't know why I've started priming in on that, but I got bored. And then we've got to cut out that bit there. Yeah, as far as the golf project's coming on, I think this is episode 12 or 13 now. And yeah, bodywork's going alright. I just need to fix the welder because it's broken at the moment. And then I can tap weld all the new panels on, leave them on, angle them up, and get this, get this golf back to showroom quality nice so i'm gonna leave this episode here i don't know how long this video is gonna be but i'm tired and it's getting dark but yeah if you did like please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one adios